How's it going guys, I'm back to another episode, we're going to talk about how to prepare a document so we can actually use Bootstrap inside our websites. So as you guys can see right now, I do actually have a very basic index.html file with very basic HTML5 code inside of it. So this is just the very basics of a HTML5 website layout when you get started, you know, creating a website. So what we're going to do in this episode is just basically importing bootstrap inside our document so we can actually use the code that bootstrap provides inside the html css and javascript that we need to use and we do that by getting what's called a cdn which is content delivery network which means that we're going to go ahead and link to you know all the bootstrap code which is laying online somewhere and we do that instead of downloading the actual bootstrap files since there's more benefits from using this cdn network Okay, so a CDN network is very easy to set up. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my browser. And inside my browser, we're gonna go ahead and type getbootstrap.com. Now inside getbootstrap.com, we're gonna go ahead and go up to the top where it says get started. I'm gonna click it. And as you guys can see, we now get some different options in order to download Bootstrap. Now inside this page, you'll notice that we have quite a few options when it comes to downloading Bootstrap, but the one we're gonna focus on is the CDN network. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just go down to where it says Bootstrap CDN, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy all the code we have in here. So I'm just gonna click on the copy button. There we go. I'm gonna go inside my file, and I'm gonna go inside my head tag. And I'm just gonna paste everything in. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and move everything out so it looks, you know, some kind of neat and nice, like so. And what we have here is basically the first one up here is going to be the bootstrap CSS. And this is the CSS we're gonna use when we set up a bootstrap website. So instead of having a separate CSS document that has all the bootstrap code in it, we're just gonna go ahead and use this CSS document that is online instead of having a physical file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this blogger code here. Then we're gonna go down to the next one where we have an optional theme, which means that we can basically you know, use some kind of uh, pre-made theme that we can use inside our bootstrap website i'm going to go ahead and delete that for now since i don't think we need it we're going to make our own theme and the second link down here at least the second piece of code is the latest javascript version of bootstrap meaning that this is all the javascript code that bootstrap provides us so we can do special javascript stuff inside bootstrap you know stuff that's meant for bootstrap now we're going to go ahead and keep this code as well the last piece of code we need is jquery we're gonna go ahead and use jQuery inside our build here because jQuery is a very good language to use when you want to use JavaScript. Um, I should mention, if you have never done jQuery before since I did say in the beginning of my series here that jQuery is not a requirement, you don't need to know jQuery before we get started. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and include jQuery since we will probably in the later courses when it gets more advanced, we're gonna start using some JavaScript and jQuery. So just to have it here when we start out, I'm just gonna go ahead and include it from the beginning. So we're gonna go inside our browser. I'm gonna to go to jQuery.com, which is jQuery's website. I'm gonna go ahead and click on download jQuery. Now inside jQuery here, we get some different options. What I'm looking for is not downloading a physical copy of jQuery that we're gonna include inside our root folder. Just like with the bootstrap files, we're gonna go ahead and use a CDN network. So I'm gonna scroll down to where we have using jQuery with CDN. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link down here that says code.jQuery.com, which then takes us to all the different versions we have of jQuery when we want to use jQuery CDN. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the latest one, which is jQuery 3.x. I'm not gonna download the uncompressed version because we don't need to edit the code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the minimized version. So when we do actually click this link, as you guys can see, we now get a piece of code that we can just include inside our own document. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy what we have here, or you could just simply click the button over here that says copy to clipboard, then go back inside my documents, and I'm just gonna go ahead and include the jQuery right before we load the minified JavaScript, like so. Just gonna move it out so it looks nice. Well, it does actually do that. So. Now that we have all the files that we need, we can actually get started using Bootstrap. So this is basically all I wanted to show you guys in this episode. In the next episode, we'll actually start creating some stuff inside our body tag and actually get started using Bootstrap. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.